pictures have been very uh, kalpmas have been very volatile and yes uh, things did start to pick up second half of 20 were going great and even i would say 21 22 was uh, going great guys and then things are been pretty good but yes off late going to inflation which has been you know beyond control and troublesome for everybody and also uh, adding to that the transition to bs4 which increased cost of construction for about 25 by 10 to 20% even more that has been a hindrance and and uh, there has been a slight uh, dip in demand uh, across sectors and across customers but i'm sure the way things are going in the country and uh, also looking at our, our government's focus on infrastructure and uh, you know uh, india's expanding manufacturing and industrial landscape i think things are going to be pretty good for us uh, in the near future i think most of the industry and the world today wants a greener everything and i'm going by that uh, alternative uh, usage of fuel or alternate fuels are in uh, people are talking about biodiesel people are talking about cng people are talking about uh, ethanol but but i feel that all of this is slightly difficult to be attained because of the infrastructure availability or costing but long term sustainable alternative fuel technologies would be electric which has already started to become prevalent in the passenger segment and going forward in the construction equipment segment in the especially the smaller size machines i think electric technology is going to take shape in a big way and uh, further on uh, for medium to heavy machines because electric technology again has has its uh, shortcoming with respect to the infrastructure availability and but whatever i would say the battery sizes and the weights so going forward for medium to heavy machines we feel that hydrogen fuel cell technology or hydrogen uh, based ic engines are going to the future at is uh, we are also working uh, on alternate fuels and uh, we have explored quite a lot on biodiesel but there seem to be a lot of bottleneck because biodiesel with a 5% 7% or even up to a 20% blend with petroleum diesel can easily be used on equipment without compromising the the output or the performance of the engines but unfortunately a lot of our biodiesel capacities within the country are underutilized because of lack of uh, uco which is one of the primary ingredients whether it's called uh, unused cooking oil and the costs are a little uh, not so regulated or controlled so it it does not seem to be a viable solution at this juncture so if government comes across with certain things i'm sure that biodiesel can easily be used we started to use which is a blend with normal diesel but apart from that uh, we are definitely thinking and working with respect to hybrid or uh, electric and uh, obviously hydrogen is at a later stage as of now because the complete infrastructure and the technology is under evolution all over the world but yes electric technology is available in the country electric uh, mobile vehicles are being made in the country we have been making electric forklift for the last nearly 10 12 years we are very well versed with the technology development and especially with respect to operators and maintenance staff especially the down end staff with respect to technicians we feel that there is a genuine shortage of such people and people who are available are really not trained well or skilled enough to be able to contribute rightly to the performance of the machine and even for the maintenance of the machine and uh, going uh, by this thought uh, in the last 6 months one year uh, see we already have a training center Uh, which is dedicated uh, for training operators as well as uh, uh, technicians we are expanding that so into a full fledged boarding lodging facility and tying up with the, the local authorities government and also especially with the vishwakarma skill development university to evolve one month three month six month programs <laughs> Bomber is happening at such an opportune time that we feel that around uh, uh, the end of the year in January, the activity would be peaking again, which is also going to add a lot of value for uh, the uh, the prospective visitors and the customers to be able to make conscious decisions and understand latest and upcoming technologies and upgradations and introductions by different companies. 
while talking about uh, upgradations and innovations, I would also uh, like to add that uh, within our company, we will be using Bauma as a platform to uh, showcase two different new product categories which we have been working on over the last two years uh, for the Indian market, along with some bigger models of our higher end bigger cranes, whether crawler cranes and front cranes in the show. We are uh, very much charged up uh, with our upcoming uh, launches in the new product segments, which we are uh, very hopeful that uh, will happen at BOMA. And uh, we have been participating in uh, BOMA for, for all the editions they have done in India so far. And uh, it has been very fruitful and a nice event, very well organized. And, and uh, we look forward to participating in BOMA again and wish BOMA all the best.